welcome back. Excuse all the distractions. I've got everybody home. Even the birds are making a noise. And so I've got little kids running around and I've got the TV on to try and keep them occupied. We'll see how that goes, shall we? So today I'm cutting my son's hair and he has very kindly agreed to let me film this. Um, I don't have any high-tech stuff, so you're not going to see a really high-tech video, but hopefully you're going to see how to do a basic man's haircut. Um, I know not all of you have clippers. And there are ways of doing it with scissors only, but I will save that for another video. For now, though, I'm guessing that if you're cutting your own man's hair or your own son's hair, you probably have invested in a pair of clippers. Okay, I bet you're not surprised to see I have pink clippers, so I'm going to take the guard off here. And one thing you'll notice about your clippers is this little lever here. And what this does is it will move your blade. Can you see that? That's moving it up and down. That's your half size, okay? You've got your clipper guards, which come in different sizes. Four, three, two, and one over here. The higher the number, the longer the hair, okay? So if you want a really close cut, you're going to go for a two or a one, or even a zero. There's your zero. Right, so I'm going to perhaps because I'm always cautious, I'm going to start with a number three and maybe fade to a number two. See how that goes. Now there is another thing I want to explain to you. And that's the design points on the head. Turn around, Morgan. Okay. Design points, if you were doing a longer cut, would be your nose, your mouth, your chin. But on a man's cut, I'm looking at the temples. Okay. And I'm looking at the ear. And I'm looking at the parts of the ear where I'll just use this as a pointer. We've got the earlobe and we've got the center of the ear. Those are parts of the ear that I also use as design points when I'm doing a cut. Excuse the mess of toys over there. And this is a very important thing: is the shape of the head. Okay, you've got your apex, your apex on the top of your head, which is the highest point of the head. Your crown is usually somewhere just behind the apex, depending on what your design growth is. So your apex, if you feel up here, is the highest point. And that's where, on a man's cut, we want the shortest part of the hair. If we cut too short here, we might find that the apex is, <laughs> yeah, we might get a wonky haircut. So that's where we're going to, if we imagine a flat line, where we're going to cut our design. See, it's longer at the front and it's short at the apex. The other really important thing, if you think of the head as a question mark, is where we have a little bump here. I can feel it quite clearly on Morgan's head. That's called the occipital. And that's a very important design point. So where the occipital is, is where I'm going to stop with the clippers. Okay, I don't want to keep clipping up to here because I'm going to have a wonky cut. So I'm going to use the clippers to the occipital and then I'm going to go into the scissor cut. I'm not going to go down with the hair growth. I'm going to go up. So ladies, you'll understand this. It's a bit like shaving your legs. You're going to go against the hair growth. 